the spectacular movement of the solar system within the Milky Way galaxy, the Sun, our central star, holds almost the entire mass of the system, accounting for 99.86%. Its immense gravitational force binds all planets, moons, and asteroids together. Simultaneously, the entire solar system is hurtling through galactic space. With a velocity of approximately 220 kilometers per second, the Sun requires an enormous amount of time, from 240 to 280 million years, to complete one orbit around the galactic center. Calculating from its birth until the present, our star has only managed to complete about 16 laps on this great journey. Our Milky Way is a giant spiral galaxy, stretching about 120,000 light years across. In this vast space, the Sun is just an ordinary star, by no means prominent compared to countless other celestial bodies. In fact, the entire Milky Way contains at least 200 to 400 billion stars, with a seemingly dense stellar population within a not-so-large cosmic home. A natural question arises. Why is the Sun able to speed around the galactic center at such an enormous velocity without ever colliding with any other star? The mystery of the galaxy's structure and balance to explain the mystery of why the Sun does not collide during its journey around the galaxy, we must first understand its structure and general movement laws. Like many other galaxies in the universe, the Milky Way is a vast, ancient structure, generally shaped like a giant elliptical disk. Prominently featured are four distinct spiral arms, or sometimes described as domain arms and smaller spurs. The distance between these arms is approximately 4,500 light years, creating a layout that is both harmonious and majestic. Our solar system is not located on the main spiral arms, but tucked away in a smaller spur known as the Orion Arm or Orion Cygnus Arm. Overall, the Milky Way is composed of four main components. The galactic bulge, where stars are densely concentrated and luminous. The galactic disk, the vast region with the distinct spiral arms, the stellar halo, the diffuse region surrounding the galaxy, the outermost rim. Trillions of stars are spread across these regions, all caught up in a great cosmic dance, moving at immense velocities around the galactic center, an even star density and our peaceful zone. Given the massive number of stars and the dizzying speed of movement, why have stars in the Milky Way over billions of years mostly avoided violent collisions and managed to coexist in a state of near peaceful balance. First, it is important to understand that the Milky Way is not a uniformly arranged system. Star density varies significantly. Some regions are densely concentrated, while others are so sparse they are almost empty. The chaotic center. The majority of celestial bodies congregate at the center of the Milky Way, known as the galactic bulge, this area has a diameter of about 20,000 light years. Inside, stars are densely packed, most of which are old stars with lifespans up to 10 billion years or more. Hidden at the very center of the Milky Way is a supermassive black hole, Sagittarius A. It is the dominant gravitational force that keeps the trillions of stars in this galaxy operating stably. Modern observations have revealed a startling truth. Within a radius of just over three light years around the galactic center, tens of millions of stars can be concentrated per cubic parsec. In contrast, the region around the solar system is extremely sparse, with less than one star on average in the same volume. This means the center of the Milky Way is tens of millions of times more crowded than the space we currently inhabit. The tranquil outskirts, compared to the chaotic central region of the Milky Way, our solar system is truly fortunate to be located in a much more peaceful zone. The Sun lies about 26,000 light years from the galactic center, belonging to the galaxy's outskirts. Here, the star density is very low. Aside from binary star systems, stars are so thinly distributed that the average distance between each star system often reaches several light years. The closest star to the solar system is Proxima Centauri located over four light years away from us. Given this immense distance, even if the solar system were to rush straight toward it at 220 kilometers per second, 
the journey would still take at least thousands of years to reach the destination. The perpetual state of dynamical equilibrium. In reality, a scenario of direct collision within the Milky Way, almost impossible. This is because the Milky Way is a galaxy that has achieved a relative state of stability after billions of years of evolution. Most celestial bodies inside maintain long-term dynamical equilibrium. In the vast interstellar space, each star follows its own trajectory, operating in a stable rotation cycle in gears working smoothly within a cosmic machine. Stars whose orbits once intersected or had the potential for collision have largely experienced past impacts and gradually settled into a new state of balance. This also occurred during the solar system's early stages, where celestial bodies constantly collided, merged, and vied for orbits until a stable order was established, just as we observe today. The Milky Way is no exception. The stars that exist today are the survivors of fierce competition in the cosmic past, the distant future, and the immortality of exploration. However, this does not mean that our solar system will be perpetually safe. The universe still harbors countless unpredictable instabilities, from mysterious black holes and rogue stars speeding at hypervelocity to unexpectedly appearing stray celestial bodies. Any such intruder could potentially disrupt the delicate order of the solar system. Yet, we absolutely do not need to worry too much. The solar system has operated stably for billions of years, and the possibility of another star directly intruding into this region is virtually zero. Even rogue objects like Amuamua, which merely passed by, were not enough to pose a serious threat. The human lifespan of just a few decades is too short compared to the rhythm of the cosmos. The probability of us witnessing a collision powerful enough to destroy the entire solar system within that time frame is almost nil. Amidst the eternity of the universe, the rotations of galaxies and the orbits of countless stars seem unconcerned with the fragile existence of humankind. However, it is precisely in this brief moment that we have the opportunity to look up, to ask questions, and to seek answers. The vast universe does not promise absolute safety, but grants humanity a wonderful privilege, the capacity for perception, and the thirst for discovery. And perhaps this very aspiration is what makes our tiny presence immortal among the infinite sea of stars.